guests, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Catherine Housing, I am the Chief of Protocol for the Government of Alberta, and I would like to welcome you to this afternoon's swearing-in of Alberta's 17th Premier and her Cabinet. This site has been a gathering place for Aboriginal people. Today we gather in Treaty 6 territory as a community to witness a moment in the history of our province. With this in mind, Premier Designate requested the involvement of the First Nations and Métis communities. I would
I would now invite Mr. John McDonald, Mady Elder, and veteran, to bring the blessing. Tansay. Good afternoon, Your Honor, Madam Notley, ladies and gentlemen of the new cabinet, elders, veterans, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed an honor and a pleasure to be invited to take part in this afternoon's swearing in ceremony and celebrations. My name is John McDonald, a retired member of the Canadian Armed Forces, 38 years service, and I'm proud to be here. Please join me in a prayer for Madam Notley, the new 17th Premier of Alberta and her cabinet members. Please stand and pray in your own way and in your own language. Our Father, bless us this day for your breath is life and bless us here today. Give us again to see sunrise and sunset. Let us put our minds together and see what life we can make for our children. In the presence of the Great Spirit, we give thanks for the gift of wisdom, guidance, and leadership. May we be like the eagle who flies high and sees far. We give thanks for wisdom, understanding, and gifts of intellect. May we be like the buffalo and be strong. In the presence of the Great Spirit, we wish to reflect the warmth of Father, Son, and Mother Earth, as there is great mysteries for you to ponder throughout this day and in days to come. May you carry in your heart a sense of adventure, vision of hope, and a courageous dream as we you embark on your new journey. May the gods create, join together in celebration. May the spirits dance, may dreams come true, for on this day we honor you. The challenge of life we welcome and embrace. O oh, Great Spirit, keep us, the people of Alberta, in good health, mentally and physically, to solve our problems and to accomplish something for our generations. Guide us to our homes safely and protect the many men and women of the Canadian Armed Forces, wherever they may serve, and bring them back safely. Lord, bless us this day, for history is in the making. Amen. Hi, hi. You may be seated. Um, thank you, Mr. McDonald. I would now ask Mr. Rocky Morin from the Enoch Cree Nation to perform an honor song. I have to attempt it. Kitam Skatanawal, Gakio, Uta Husky, Treaty Six. That way, Mia Gisago, a notes, Gagisago. Hi, hi, Ish Nish, Adewaka. I want to render a special honoring song <coughs> for our new Premier and her cabinet as we honor the commitment to working with all Aboriginal peoples throughout this great province of Alberta. So please join me in celebration and in honor today. Thank you. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, I invite the Administrator of the Government of Alberta, Chief Justice of Alberta, the Honourable Catherine Fraser, to the podium. Chief Justice. Good afternoon, Premier Designate, Cabinet Minister Designates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. On this glorious spring day, it is my distinct pleasure to take part in this ceremony in my role as Administrator for the province and on behalf of His Honour, Colonel Retired, the Honourable Donald S. Ethel. Throughout his tenure as Vice Regal Representative, Lieutenant Governor Ethel has offered a remarkable model of service before self, fulfilling his duties with dignity, compassion, strength of purpose, and an unwavering commitment to the values and beliefs upon which our nation stands. Lieutenant Governor Ethel would have loved to have presided over this ceremony. However, back injuries are limiting his mobility. His Honour has asked me to extend best wishes to Premier Notley and her cabinet, and I am sure that they, along with all Albertans, join me in offering sincere thanks and congratulations to our Lieutenant Governor for his faithful service as he nears the completion of his tenure. The ceremony we are witnessing today is an important milestone in the life and history of our province. It's rooted in the fundamental principles of our Canadian system of government. It's a celebration of the values that underpin our constitutional democracy. This includes the right and responsibility we hold as Canadians to participate in the free election of the leaders entrusted to safeguard our democratic traditions and guide our future. It is fitting that we mark this moment on the steps of the Alberta Legislature a place that embodies our system of responsible government, a place that honors the importance of free and open speech, a place that belongs to the citizens that members of the assembly are sworn to represent, and first and foremost, a place that symbolizes our commitment to the rule of law. In the end, it is our collective commitment to the rule of law and equality that allows men and women to reach our full potential, become what we want to be and not what someone else thinks we should be, and leave a legacy of peace. And leave a legacy of peace, prosperity, and progress for those who follow. Welcome Premier Notley and Ministers of the Crown to their new roles. The oaths that you take today reflect our heritage as a nation as well as our parliamentary customs and traditions. They represent the profound challenges and opportunities that come with serving the greater good and they are an expression of the confidence your fellow citizens have placed in you to lead our great province. I know that you will undertake your duties with courage, integrity, and honor, and with a steadfast commitment to delivering fair, well-reasoned, ethical, and effective government. Rachel Notley. 
You were raised in a family that understood the honor, privilege, and sacrifices that come with service. There are many fine examples to help guide you in the tremendous responsibilities that lie ahead, including your mother, the late Sandra Notley, who taught you and your siblings the value of community service, and your father, the late Grant Notley, who deeply appreciated the importance of valuable work that takes place in this building. I am confident that you will bring to bear the very best of your heritage, education, and experience to your work as Premier of Alberta. That you will embrace every opportunity to foster the highest quality of life for all Albertans, and that you will commit the best of your energy and intentions to the work of keeping our province safe secure, stable, and strong. Thank you, God bless Alberta, and God save the Queen.